So hi guys, welcome to the second class for percentage advance. So next seven questions, let's see what are those. So the first one tells you that a motorist used ten percent of his fuel to cover twenty percent of his total journey. Okay, he covered another forty percent of his total journey under similar conditions. Okay, so let's say that the total fuel that he has is equal to hundred liters. And why are you using hundred liters? Because see, no absolute value is used in the question, so we can use anything that we want. And the total distance that he has to go, the total distance that he has to go is also hundred kilometers. right so initially what he did he used 10 liters of fuel to cover 20 kilometers he covered another 40% of total journey so total journey is 100 kilometers uska 40% will be what 40 so another 40 kilometers he traveled under similar condition that means again this time also he utilized 20 liters so till now he has utilized 30 liters and he has come up 60 kilometers right now what it says is that for the rest of the journey the conditions were different so find the maximum percentage by which his fuel efficiency that is distance covered per unit quantity of fuel to pehle to yahan nikal lete hain per unit quantity of fuel what is the distance covered it's 2 km so every 1 liter he is going 2 km so current fuel efficiency is 2 km now the question is that find the maximum percentage by which his fuel efficiency can drop so that he can still cover the remaining journey without a refill तो मैक्सिमम एफिशिएंसी जिससे वो ड्रॉप कर जाए इट कैन नॉट बी हंड्रेड परसेंट कि वहीं खत्म हो गया राइट right? सो so, इस तरह से पहुंचाना है कि जब वो वहां पे पहुंचे तो बिल्कुल जीरो हो जाए एंड रिफिल की जरूरत ना पड़े क्योंकि पहुंचने पे अगर जीरो होगा दैट विल बी ओनली बी द मैक्सिमम परसेंटेज ड्रॉप इन द एफिशियंसी राइट क्योंकि उससे ज्यादा होगा तो पहले ही खत्म हो जाता तेल उससे कम होगा तो और थोड़ा तेल अभी रहता राइट तो मैक्सिमम एफिशियंसी कहां पर आएगी ड्रॉप की वो आएगी आपकी मैक्सिमम ड्रॉप किस कब आएगा एफिशिएंसी का व्हेन द मोमेंट ही रीचेस हिज पेट्रोल इज ओवर हिज फ्यूल इज ओवर राइट सो दैट मींस ही हैज 70 लीटर्स ऑफ फ्यूल एंड ही हैज टू गो 40 किलोमीटर्स सो फॉर दिस पार्ट द फ्यूल एफिशिएंसी इज गोइंग टू बी 4 बाय 7 किलोमीटर्स पर लीटर इनिशियली इट वाज 2 किलोमीटर्स पर लीटर राइट सो व्हाट इज द ड्रॉप हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट परसेंटेज डिक्रीज परसेंटेज डिक्रीज इज कैलकुलेटेड बाय फाइनल वैल्यू बाय ओरिजिनल वैल्यू So my final value over here is four by seven. My original value is divided by two. So this becomes nothing but four by seven multiplied by one by two, right? So this becomes what two by seven. So my initial value was two. My seven. My final value is two. So I am getting a loss of five by seven. Five one by seven is fourteen percent roughly. Five by seven will be roughly it will be seventy one percent. The correct answer is going to be seventy one percent over here, right? Next question. So Kanchan bought fifty articles. Now he sells twenty percent of the articles and makes a profit of twelve hundred, which is also equal to cost price of five articles. Okay. So out of fifty articles, twenty percent of the articles are sold, right? So how many are sold? Fifty ka twenty percent. That is one by five. So how many articles are sold? This goes ten times. So ten articles have been sold. So on selling of ten articles. The profit on ten articles is given to me as twelve hundred. So can I say that the profit on one article is nothing but one twenty rupees? Also, it has been given that twelve hundred is also the cost of five articles. So cost price of five articles is given to me as twelve hundred. So can I say that the cost price of one article will be two forty rupees? Correct. Now the question is if the selling price of all fifty articles is same, what is the value of remaining articles at selling price? तो सेलिंग प्राइस इज व्हाट सेलिंग प्राइस इज नथिंग बट कॉस्ट प्राइस प्लस प्रॉफिट कॉस्ट प्राइस इज प्रॉफिट इन माय केस इज 360 एंड हाउ मेनी आर्टिकल्स आर रिमेनिंग 40 आर्टिकल्स आर रिमेनिंग सो द टोटल वैल्यू इज गोइंग टू बी व्हाट इट इज गोइंग टू बी 144 00 दैट इज 14400 इज गोइंग टू बी माय करेक्ट आंसर सो दिस इज द टोटल वैल्यू ऑफ ऑल द आर्टिकल्स एट द सेलिंग प्राइस आफ्टर सेलिंग 20% ऑफ द आर्टिकल्स करेक्ट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट This question tells you that Ajay sold an article at twenty percent to Balu. Balu sold it at thirty percent to Chetan. Dinesh sold a similar article at twenty percent loss to David. David sold it at thirty percent loss to Edward. Right? The sum of prices that Chetan and Edward paid for their respective article is twenty-eight thousand more than what Ajay paid. If Ajay and Dinesh bought the article for the same price, so this is the good part. This is the good part that Ajay and Dinesh bought the article for same price. So let's say the price for Ajay is hundred x, and price for Dinesh is 
100 x. Now Ajay sold it at 20 percent profit to Balu. So how will you calculate? Kis price pe sell kiya? Cost price multiplied by multiplying factor of profit is selling price. So 100 x multiplied by 6 by 5, 20 percent ka profit 120 x. Balu sold it at 30 percent profit to Chetan. Chetan ke liye cost price will be what? 120x multiplied by 30% sorry 30% profit 30% profit means 3 by 10 ka multiplying factor so this will be equal to what this will be equal to this is gone 12 into 3 uh, 12 into uh, sorry uh, this would be 13 by 10 so 12 into 13 156x so chetan bought it for 156x now dinesh sold it to david at a loss of 20% that means he sold it to david at 80x correct David sold it to Edward for 30% loss. That means Edward ke liye the cost price is going to be 80x multiplied by a multiplying factor of 30% loss. That is 7 by 10. Right? That means he sold it. Edward got it for 56x. Now it has been given that the sum of price Chetan and Edward paid for the articles. So sum of price that Chetan and Edward paid is nothing but 212x. The summation of 156x plus 56x. Correct? Is 28,000 more than what Ajay paid. So if I remove Ajay ka price from here, the difference that I'm getting is 28,000. So can I say that I'm getting 112x is equal to 28,000? Right? Or my x ka value becomes equal to 28,000 divided by 112. Right? 28,000 divided by 112 will give me what? 14,000 by 56. 7,000 by... 28 correct 3500 by 14 1750 by 7 so my x value will be what 2 35 250 my x value will be 250 so find the sum of prizes paid by Ajay and Dinesh for the respective articles so Ajay and Dinesh together played 100 plus 100 200 x so 200 x means 200 into 250 that is 50,000 rupees so in total, Ajay and Dinesh together played, paid 50,000 rupees to get the articles. So this is the correct answer. Right? Let's move ahead. So Goyal and Gokul invest 20,000 and 30,000 respectively and start a business. Since Goyal manages the business, he gets a salary which is equal to 20% of the balance profit after deducting his salary. If Goyal's total earning of 4,800 at end of the year, what is the total profit made by the business? Right? So let's say that my total profit is P. Total profit is P. Correct. Now, since Goel manages the business, he gets a salary which is equal to 20% of balance profit after deducting his salary. So let's say the salary that he is getting is equal to X. So profit after salary is what? Profit after salary is what? P minus X. And Goel ka salary is equal to what? Goyal ka salary is equal to what? 20% of this value. Right? So it is nothing but P by 5 minus X by 5. This is what Goyal ka salary is. Correct? Now it is being said that Goyal earned 4800 at the end of one year. Right? So that simply means that out of this, see, after his salary has been removed. So what part is he going to get? After the salary has been removed, whatever is left, Uska ratio in 2 is to 3. Right? Because no time has been given ki kisne kab invest kiya. So the ratio of profit would be in ratio of investment. Correct? So 2 is to 3 mein ho gaya. Right? So that means he is also getting what? 40% of balance. So what Goyal is getting is 4800 and that is equal to Goyal ka salary. Now Goyal ka salary is P by 5 minus X by 5. And Goel ka profit. Goel ka profit is this is the profit after uh, this is the profit after giving his salary. So is profit ko 2 is to 3 may divide karna. Right? So he is getting 2 by 5 of P and 2 by 5 of X. This is what he is getting. Now this is the equation that you have to solve. Right? So 4800 4800 is equal to LCM ho 5. What are you left with? So P plus 2P that is 3P minus X and minus 2X minus 3X. Okay. Why are we arriving at this situation? I'm not getting anything out of it. Okay. 
Okay, maybe something out of it we are getting. Okay, so 4800 into 5 will give me what guys? 4800 into 5 will give me 24,000. And this 24,000 is equal to 3 times of P minus X. Right? So can I say that my P minus X is equal to 8,000? My P minus X is 8,000. And P minus X ka 20% that is 1600 is going to be Goel ka salary. So profit after giving his salary was 8,000 and his salary is 1600. So the total profit must have been 9600. So 9600 option number C becomes my correct answer over here. Right? Let's move on to the next. So Ganga and Gayatri start an enterprise by investing 24,000 and 36,000 respectively. Their agreement is to share half of the total profit equally and then share the remaining half in the ratio of their capitals. If they share the entire profit in ratio of the capitals, Gayatri would have got 2,500 more than what she got otherwise. What is the total profit? So let us again assume that my total profit is equal to, let's say this time we want to assume something else. We want to assume 100 X, right? So what did they decide that first 50 X in the first 50 X, it would be one is to one. And in the remaining 50 X, it would be two is to three because 24,000 is to 36,000 is nothing but two is to three. Correct. So, from here, he is getting 25x. This is also 25x. Over here, this is 20x. This is 30x. Right? So, Ganga is getting the lesser part. So, Gayatri is getting what? Gayatri is getting what? She is getting 25x from here and 30x from here. That is 25x plus 30x. She is getting a total of 55x. And if the entire profit was distributed in 2 is to 3, right? So, Ganga would have gotten... 40x and Gayatri would have gotten 60x. So in other case, she would have gotten 60x. Now it is being said that jo mila or jo mil sakta tha, uske beech ka gap kitta hai 2500 and yaha pe gap kitta hai 5x. So can I say that my 5x is equal to 2500? So my x is equal to 500. And when my x is equal to 500, what is the total profit? It is 100x. So 100 multiplied by 500 gives you a 50,000. Option number D becomes my correct answer for this question. Right? Let's solve one more question. So Gopal, Hari and Karthik started a business with investment of 8,000, 12,000 and 16,000 respectively. Hari and Karthik left the business after X months and out of the total annual profit share, Gopal got more than Hari but less than Karthik. If X is an integer, find the ratio of Gopal, Hari and Karthik. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay. So now what we know is that Hari and Karthik left the business, but Gopal did not leave the business. So Gopal is to Hari is to Karthik. The money will be divided in what ratio? Product of investment and amount. Uh, product of uh, amount of investment and amount of time. So Gopal ke case mein product of amount and time is going to be what? 8000 multiplied by 12. Hari ke case mein it is going to be 12,000 X and Karthik ke case mein it is going to be 16,000 X. Now, three zeros are gone, three zeros are gone, three zeros are gone. So we are left with a 96 is to 12x is to 16x. Now we have been given that Gopal got more than Hari. So can I say that my 96 is greater than 12x and but it is less than 16x. Now the only value of x that is going to satisfy this condition, you take x equal to 5, right? This will become 80. This will, so 80 is not less than 96. x5 nahi ho sakta. Take x equal to 8 x equal to 8 if you take 12 it's a 96 dubara ye less nahi ho sakta right so the only value of x that is going to satisfy my condition is 7 and when i take it as 7 this becomes 96 this becomes 84 this becomes uh, 16 into 7 is 112 right to find the ratio of gopal hari and karthik take take two out from it you get a 48 you get a 42 you get a 56 take another two out of it you get a 24, you get a 21, you get a 28. No more simplification is possible. This is the correct answer. That is option number B. Right? Let's solve one more last question in this video. So in an election between two candidates, P and Q, only 90% of the registered voter cast their votes. So let's say registered voters are 100x. 
registered voters are 100x now out of them how many cast their vote 90% that is 90x correct now only 90% of the polled votes were valid so if 90% are valid that means how many votes are valid 90x into 9 by 10 that is 81x so these are the valid votes now p got 65% of the valid votes so 65% see 5% is what 1 by 20 65% will be what 65% multiplying factor 13 by 20 so out of 81 x votes this guy got 13 by 20 votes right that means the other guy would have gotten 81 x multiplied by 7 by 20 the remaining votes right the remaining votes he must have gotten and the difference between the two has been given as 97 20 correct so this has been given so what do you get from here is that uh, 81 into 13 okay so 81 into 13 3 ones are 3 right 3 ones are 3 3 8s are 24 1 ones are 1 25 uh, uh, 3 8s are 24 1 ones are 1 25 carry over 2 and 1 8s are 8 2 10 1 0 5 3 x minus 81 into 7 so 7 56 x is equal to 9720 into 20. So what do we get from here? 1053 minus 567. So how much will this be? 453, 486. 486 x is equal to 9720 multiplied by 20. Correct? So 486 is equal to 9720 multiplied by 20. Now let's see what we can cancel off. Okay. All right. Let's use calculator now. Okay. Let's use a calculator. So this is 9720 multiplied by 20 divided by 486. My X ka value turns out to be equal to 400. You can do the calculation mentally uh, on, on paper as well. Okay. So this is 400. So how many registered votes were there? 400 into 100 X that is 4,000, 40,000. So 40,000 becomes your correct answer for this question. So I hope I've made all the seven questions clear. If any doubts, you can comment in the uh, comment section, right? I'll be replying to that.